The Sun is the star at the center of our solar system and is responsible for the Earth's climate and weather. One million Earths could fit inside the Sun. If a hollow Sun was filled up with spherical Earths, then around 960,000 would fit inside. On the other hand, if these Earths were squished inside with no wasted space, then around 1.3 million would fit inside. On the other hand, if these Earths were squished inside with no wasted space, then around 1.3 million would fit inside. The temperature inside the Sun can reach 50 million degrees Celsius. At the Sun's core, energy is generated by nuclear fusion, as hydrogen converts to helium. Because hot objects generally expand, the Sun would explode like a giant bomb if it weren't for its enormous gravitational force. The temperature on the surface of the Sun is closer to 5,600 degrees Celsius. When a team of Japanese astronomers were combing through four-year-old solar data, they never expected to find a giant sunspot with strong magnetic iron atoms on it. Nor did they expect this sunspot to be the strongest magnetic field on the surface of the Sun. Researchers at the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan concluded after five days of analysis, it was caused by gas overflow from one sunspot in the complex pushing against another sunspot. The sunspot complex AR196 appeared in February 2014, during which time astronomers around the globe took measurements. At over 11,000 miles across, it was wider than Jupiter, and went on to morph into AR1990, and spit out an enormous solar flare on February the 25th. But the magnetic field occurred earlier in the month. The team's data started from February the 4th. Sunspots are called active regions for a reason. They look a bit like holes in the sun, and are much darker and cooler than the rest of the visible surface, the layer of the sun called the photosphere. These regions are caused by magnetic fields, and usually occur in east-west pairs with opposite polarities. The magnetic fields are stronger in the darkest parts of the sunspot, known as the umbra. Here the magnetic field is around a thousand times stronger than the surrounding photosphere, and extends vertically. In the lighter region, the magnetic field is weaker and extends horizontally. Gas flows outwards along the horizontal threads of the magnetic field in a sunspot's penumbra. Jotin Akimoto and Tashu Sekuri were analyzing data taken from AR1967 when they found something really unusual, a signature for strongly magnetized iron atoms. When they crunched the numbers, they found the magnetic field had a strength of 6,200 gauss more than twice the strength of 3,000 gauss found in other sunspots, and it wasn't in the Umbria either, but the bright region between two sunspots of the complex. Because the sunspot was observed for a period of time, the researchers were able to check the data over the next few days. The strong magnetic field stayed in the bright region between two Umbrae. They concluded the strong field belonged to the southern spot's penumbra, the horizontal gas flows of which were compressing the northern spot's horizontal magnetic fields. The research has been published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.